Hey guys, it's Nate with Sauce Ain't the Boss here again, and today is day number 104 of quitting alcohol. Today I wanted to pose a question to you guys, and that is, is your drinking selfish? Have you gotten to a place in your life where your drinking is something that you want to do, yet it's affecting a lot of other people around you? It could be your family, it could be your coworkers, maybe your friends. And um, if you go back to my day one video, I talk about one of the realizations I had that actually really led to me starting this journey of quitting drinking alcohol and being able to make it uh, 104 days so far. And that is the realization that my drinking was very selfish and self-centered. Um, you know, I've got a wife and two kids to worry about or not worry about, but you know, that I want to be there for. And, um, you know, they count on me for a lot of different things in this life, you know. And uh, if I continued drinking the way that I was, uh, there was a pretty good chance the way my health was going that I wasn't going to be around for them anymore. But uh, yet I was continuing to drink on a daily basis as my health deteriorated because, uh, you know, again, it was self-centered. It was something that, you know, to hell with that fact that that could possibly be a reality that I might not be here for them. I would rather just drown myself in my drink, you know. And so, um, you know, if, if you're a single person, and you don't have a family, you don't have friends, and you just want to sit there and drink, you know, uh, is that selfish? I don't know. But I think we all have to take a look at um, the people that count on us in this life. You know, coworkers count on you too. If you're calling in sick and people are having to come in on their days off to cover you because you're hungover, um, that's not fair. That's selfish of you. Um, you know, if you're doing a half-assed job at work because, well, I showed up to work even though I was hungover, so I really did something today. If you're doing a piss poor job, and uh, your productivity isn't good and somebody else is having to pick up your slack or you're um, delivering an inferior service or product because you're hung over and feeling like crap, um, that's selfish, you know? So there's um, a lot of different reasons that uh, drinking can be a very selfish act. And, um, you know, sometimes... Uh, when we get drunk, we say things to other people that we wouldn't have otherwise said if we were uh, in our right mind and not drinking. That can be selfish, you know. You're taking something that alters your state and causes you to behave in a way that is negative to uh, maybe some people you care about or maybe they're total strangers, the people around you. Um, but that's kind of a selfish act as well. I mean, selfish basically means you're kind of a self-centered, it's all about me um, type of person um, and or it's an act that that's what that that that's that it's that way. And I think that um, drinking can be a very selfish thing. And I'm just speaking from my own personal story and how my drinking was um, when I was you know, hooked on the drink, so to speak. Um, that was my main focus. And so whether it was my job or my business or my family or my friends or, um, you know, just neglecting so many other things in my life that I shouldn't have been um, because my life was revolving around alcohol. And that's a selfish thing, you know, it's just plain and simple. I don't know how else to say it or word it, but, uh, and that was um, the big realization I had um, on my day one of quitting. Um, you know, my health was starting to get bad. Um, there were just a lot of other reasons, but I think that that was the straw that broke the camel's back, so to speak, or the, the extra push I needed to uh, begin this journey was the realization of, how selfish uh, of a person I was by putting my need for this drug above a lot of other things, if not everything else in my life. And so I just ask you guys to evaluate that um, again. You know, are you um, somebody that maybe doesn't have a significant other? You don't have a job and you're just sitting at home drinking. Is that selfish? You know, um, I don't know. But maybe it's something that you could look at too and say, um, maybe it is selfish because um, 
you could have a beautiful life. It's selfish to yourself, you know. I mean, you're not allowing yourself to um, possibly be there for others or create uh, something wonderful in this world because um, you're choosing to turn to alcohol instead of, um, you know, going out and living life to your full potential and life's full potential, you know, uh, of what could be in store for you if you got rid of the alcohol and um, started um, becoming a better human being, you know. Um, again, I, I never have anything against drinkers or this is never meant to put anybody drinking down. Lord knows I did it for 20 plus years and I know why people do it and I completely understand and I've got nothing against people that drink, um, you know, because, uh, you know, I get it. But uh, um, I think that, you know, I can speak from my own experience and where I was going in my life when I was drinking and being on the other side now 104 days in. And um, my point of this channel and, and my story and sharing that with you guys is to help those of you that are struggling with alcohol and want to get away from it and um, you know need some motivation because um, I got motivation from other people on YouTube and from different books and from talking to other people that were drinkers trying to get away from it and just a, a, a lot of other um, influence too. So any influence when you're trying to quit alcohol that's, that's positive in that direction of trying to quit and that points out the benefits of quitting alcohol and also points out the negative facts uh, of staying on alcohol um, is, is a good thing if you're trying to get away from it, to hear in those things. And so um, the whole selfish angle of your drinking is something that I think needs to be mentioned. And, um, you know, I'm not calling any of you guys selfish out there. I just, I had to evaluate that in my own life. And when I, when I, when I did, and I realized you know, my kids had grown up from the time they were born until their mid late teens, not ever knowing me as a non drinker, me always getting, you know, buzzed, if not drunk every single night of their lives. Um, if that's not selfish, I don't know what is, you know, my wife having to put up with not knowing um, if she was going to have a husband in her um, later years in life because she was watching me slowly kill myself with alcohol. And, um, you know, she would talk to me about it and tell me, you know, it bothered her and stuff. And yet I would continue to drink year after year, even um, after she mentioned her concerns. And that's selfish. And uh, so anyway, guys, um, you know, a little bit of a downer video today. But uh, the point of these types of videos are to get you to look at your own um, path that you're on with your drinking and uh, ask yourself some tough questions. You know, um, number one, are you being selfish? And number two, if you are, you know, um, maybe it's time to make a change and uh, fix all the wrongs um, or at least attempt to. Um, that maybe you've created with your drinking, the people you've been selfish to, and um, start becoming that better or best version of yourself by putting alcohol behind you and moving forward with being the best possible you that you can be. And um, there's discomfort in that process, like I've mentioned, but um, you know, being 104 days into it now, I can tell you guys it's worth every bit of discomfort that comes along and worth every bit of effort that you have to put in. Uh, my life has done a 180 and I'm so thankful and happy where I am today versus when I was stuck in that alcohol trap, you know, at the bottom of a bottle. It's just not a good place to be and feel and exist every day. And uh, it was selfish. So that's it for today, guys. If you guys are getting anything out of these videos, give them a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you can. And most importantly, remember, sauce ain't the boss. You are. You guys have a great night.